Welcome back to another one, guys. It is a cold day here in southwestern Ontario. Uh, well, it says six degrees. It feels awfully cold or not. Let me turn you down just a little bit. Today, we're going to be heading to Leamington. we got to go to the Superstore and pick some stuff up. Also, might go over to PV Mart, a.k.a., well, used to be known as the TSC store. How in the world come up with PV Mart? Makes no sense to me. What Anyway, so after that, we got to head to Windsor. we got to pick up some dog food, but I also want to go to Lowe's. Because I gotta build something today for this channel while well, it's going in the shop, but then I gotta build something for the other channel, which it's going in the basement. Well, never mind, let's hit the road. Well, true to fashion, things didn't go as planned. That's pretty much par for the course with my life. Uh, I wanted to build a nice bench that I could put downstairs next to my gun cabinet or in my shop that I could put on wheels and kind of pull out and create videos with. The current bench situation in my shop, the bench is against the wall, doesn't leave a whole lot of room for a camera, you gotta look over my shoulder, it's kind of not user friendly or not viewer friendly either. So I just went into Lowe's, and the bench that I wanted to make wasn't going to be very big. It's going to be about three and a half, four feet high, maybe four feet long, two feet wide. But I wanted it on casters, on wheels, so I could move it around. I priced it out while I was there. And the price of lumber, as everybody knows, I mean, you got to get a bank loan to, get to buy a two by four. When it was all said and done, I wanted to use cedar because I wanted it to look nice. It's going to be in the videos. I wanted to be, wanted to be professional looking. It's going to cost me about $400 to build this bench. And I'm like, this is a problem. $400 to build a bench. And chances are I'm going to set the thing on fire at some point, so I'd be out 400 bucks. So I got looking around Lowe's a little bit, and this is not a sponsor from Lowe's or anything. It just happened to be where I was. And I found a workbench, a metal workbench, four feet long, three and a half feet high. I believe it's... Uh, 20 24 inches wide or deep $109 that was made by craftsman that's not a sponsor of craftsman either I'm a boat so I bought it it was 109 bucks I'm like Jesus I just saved 300 bucks what can I buy with another 300 bucks Maybe she put the brakes on that one in a hurry nevertheless I bought it it's in the back of my truck here she being Jen and Ella they're in the Devonshire mall right now doing a little bit of shopping they get done oh yeah biggest devastation so far See that? Squirrel. Biggest devastation so far as I went to Colonial Coffee to get my coffee. And I was 15 minutes late. They were closed. Colonial Coffee. Closing at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? We need to talk. Anyway, wait for those guys to get out of the mall. We're going to head back home. I'm going to put this bench together. Not yet decided whether it's going downstairs next to the gun cabinet or it's going to be in the shop. I'm leaning more towards downstairs. We'll see you back at home. We made it back home. Like I said, I got the Craftsman bench. It is a, well, here I'll show you. It's a 50 inches wide, 22 inches deep, 36 inches high. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's red. I like black. Black's my thing. Anyway, I'm going to put you on a tripod. I'm not going to bore you. Actually, I am going to bore you with me putting this together because I got to put it together. You're going to endure it with me. I, although, I will speed it up. You ready? Here we go.
got the bench done and I think it looks fantastic it's a craftsman bench and craftsman's usually got pretty good products and this is not a paid endorsement by craftsman unless craftsman you're watching which is highly unlikely but I ended up going with this because it's steel as opposed to wood and it was hundred and nine dollars plus tax so in total is about hundred and thirty dollars out the door I could not have built a wooden bench for that much and it probably wouldn't have lasted as long because this is steel and that's wood big question am I putting it in the basement down near the gun cabinet so I can work on some guns and do some other things or am I putting it in the shed and using it out there I think it's gonna go in the shed I can always buy another one and put it downstairs for the gun cabinet so that I can work on guns down there don't tell her but Jen doesn't know won't hurt her okay 109 bucks I could probably slip that one downstairs and she ain't gonna know a thing. Anyway, I gotta get this out to the shed, figure out where I'm gonna actually so I so I gotta get this out to the shed, figure out where I'm gonna put it. So what I like to do is I'll judge a company based on its instructions. Yeah, I picked the instructions up a couple times, but not very many times. So if you look here, this particular bench is not just a bench, but you can stack it for shelving units. Obviously, that's not what I want, but the options there. Also, we did have some these parts here come for stacking other shelves. Um, this one here, I always got leftover parts. <laughs> if you build something and you don't have leftover parts, you're not very efficient. This bracket here is for the wall mount, as is this one here. So, all in all, I think it's a pretty good bench. And if this wears out, you can always replace the wood. Down here, we got the shelving. So I can stack some bins down here and put some parts in there. There's not a lot of fiddling around with this, that, and the other thing, which nothing irks me more than trying to put something together and you can't figure it out. You should be able to figure it out without instructions. That's how simple things should be. And this was pretty simple. Anyway, the only thing I would do different here is one, I want a black. So I debated painting it black. And Jen says, why would you paint it black? I said, well, red's not very tactical. She said, why isn't red tactical? I got some explaining there to do, but she'll get it eventually. The only thing different I would do about one of these things, and maybe that option is available, is on the bottom down there, put casters. So then I can wheel it out from the wall, do some work, and then wheel it back to the wall once I get it in the shed. Other than that, it's a pretty sturdy bench. Well worth 100 bucks, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. And no, guys, this is not a paid endorsement from Craftsman or Lowe's or, or DeWalt or anybody else. Unless they happen to shoot me a message. Yeah. I'm not holding my breath. Anyway, a little bit of work in the shop today. Well, it's a little bit of work in the living room. But for the shop today, hope you all enjoyed it. Go get this thing set up in the shed and have a little bit of fun. Until the next one, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. And by the way, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button while you're here. We appreciate you all very much. See you on the next one. Later. All right, good morning and welcome back. All right, good morning and welcome back. You know, there's some things in life that can make a guy happy that are not very big. That didn't make no sense whatsoever. Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we are heading to, well, first we're heading to Leamington, we're heading to Windsor. I gotta pick some stuff up, I gotta go. Slow down. I gotta build some benches. Benches with an S. Uh, one in the shop and one in the basement. 